So, we're back, as usual. It's funny how we got red. Oh, that wasn't even coordinated. Yeah, it wasn't. And so, I'm Micah. I'm Jay. And this is Married with Opinions. And boy, there's some opinions going on out there in the world for this one. So, oh, I like this opinion. Okay. I like the topic because it brings a lot of things to the surface. All right. Um... Basically, what we're going to talk about today is the new Alabama law <laughs> that they're trying to... Well, one woman, I don't, she's not even necessarily trying to pass it. She's just trying to show the inequalities that are going on between genders. Um, where... Um, <sighs> they're trying to require a man within his 50th... One month with... Um, one month. Of his fiftieth of birth- his fiftieth birthday. Or within one month of having his not one month, but yeah. After, a month, month say, after. No, it, it was just saying after your third child Still that you get a vasectomy. A- yeah. A month afterwards, yep. And that's and you're paying and a man is responsible for paying for it mm-hmm. himself. That is the summary. That's the that's the short version of of what's going of, of the um, of the bill. Yeah. I'm gonna read the article. Here. And this is from the New York Post. Yes. And this came out on this, this February New Year's 16th. 16th. So this yeah. article came out on February 16th, 2020. Yeah. Um, Alabama lawmaker fights tw- tough abortion laws with mandatory vasectomy bill. Under a wacky new proposed law, all men in Alabama will be forced to have vasectomies once they reach the age of 50. The bill sponsor, the Democratic State Representative... Rolanda Hollis claims her mandatory vasectomy law is is fair turnabout giving a recent law limiting abortion rights in the state. Was good for women should also be good for men, she says. Under existing law, there are no restrictions on the reproductive rights of men. Hollis notes in the language of her controversial bill, which was introduced on Thursday. I don't know the exact date of that. If Thursday, I think, was uh, Valentine's Day. No, 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 no that was... Um, that was the 13th. Uh, that would have been... Um, so, yeah, it would have been it Thursday been the 13th. 13th, yes. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. yeah. You know they say 13th is bad. Uh, never mind. Number 13. Yeah. <laughs> and men are waiting for steak and BJ Day <laughs> versus <laughs> Valentine's Day, but go ahead. Um... It says, this measure will require a man to undergo a vasectomy within one month of his 50th birthday or the birth of his third biological child, whichever comes first. Odds are long that the state's Republican majority legislature would ever pass such a measure, which Hollis freely concedes was drafted to show the unfairness and absurdity of stringent recent anti-abortion laws targeting women. The, The vasectomy bill is to help with the reproductive system, and yes, it is to neutralize the abortion ban bill. It always takes two to tango, Hollis noted. It, we can't put all the responsibility on women. Men need to be responsible too. And I agree. <laughs> so, when she brought this to me, I'm, I'm sitting over there looking. Oh, no. <laughs> all right, you didn't let me set it up, right? I was standing in the living room, <laughs> looking majestic as usual, and my wife was going far sitting over majestic. there just looking scrumptious, and was like, they want to snip balls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, in the Bama. In the Bama. I, don't, I mean, I, and I understand the purpose of it. I get it. And there I, are no laws. There aren't there aren't really many laws protecting the women. This is true. That's because you have men coming up with the laws. And, but that's the other issue. Yeah. But men also, not you. I get what you're saying. Whatever. <laughs> um, these lawmakers think they know everything. You don't. You don't. But but it's like, and I've heard this said um, from some. I read this in a different article. I don't remember where it was from. But, you know, I've, I've also heard that, you know, you have a lot of these groups that are anti-abortion, you know, pro-life 
nothing wrong with it. Um, but they're like, because you're pregnant, because you, you know, because you got pregnant, we're going to force you to have this baby and, you know, you're just going to have to suffer with it as a punishment. In a way, that's child abuse. Because now you're setting this child up to live a life where they're not wanted. And to have a life when you're not, that you're not loved by, especially by your biological parents. Mm -hmm. That's not a, that's not a way for anybody to live. Yep. And... Well, at least no one is some, at least the person that birthed you. Hopefully, you know, if that, so, you know, she has, she has the option of giving up for adoption, mm -hmm. but you pray that the foster child, you know, that the, whoever the thought that one, they get picked up, mm -hmm. adopted, and that their love, that their love from the foster parent is enough mm -hmm. to have that person keep going. Because there's some things, some things you can't, you know, you can actually die from a broke, I don't know if it's true, but. You can, can you die from a broken heart? Is it possible? Mm -hmm. All I know is this. Um, just because, it, and don't get me wrong, I'm I'm very much pro-choice. Mm -hmm. Personally, I haven't had any abortions, but it's your choice. You made that decision. And a lot of these church groups are getting involved in their life. Well, you know, that's an abomination. And that's what you can't stop every murder. You can't stop every rape. Let these people make their own decisions. That's not it's not up to you to make those choices for them. If we're going to look at it from a religious standpoint. Because let's be real. Didn't Cain kill him? <laughs> right. God let him make his choice. <laughs> He was getting over there getting ready to tell what was it what was it Abraham was gonna sacrifice his son just to exactly. see Exactly. Just to see if he was gonna do it. Right. So it's like, you know, you, you have all these stories of, you know, of, of things that could have been avoided if, you know, no. <laughs> Don't do it. But you know, and even then you have people who are like, Well, you know, uh if you're not ready for a baby, don't have sex and da da, -da. but even then we're married, right? Mm -hmm. If we weren't ready for another kid, mm -hmm. y'all trying, most states are trying to take away birth control. Right. Why wouldn't me and my husband, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, unless we're real, condoms aren't 100% evil. No. <laughs> They're not. But it's like, it's real easy for, for, for people on the outside to have a lot of comments about abortions. And, I think it's only fair that you bring the chopping block to the man. I'm not going to clench my balls just yet on this one. <laughs> no, she's been very vocal about this particular subject. <laughs> no, I'm so here's my here's my take on it. From from as as a man, I'm going to go typical man first and I'm going to go me. As a typical man, it'd be like Again, we don't want, you know, as a man, you know, hey, we made the laws, we protect, we saw we should be a zero, that's part of virility, we're supposed to be able to, ah, just go out here and, and, and do whatever. And it's kind of hard when, when the rabbit has the gun. Mm -hmm. Really it is. Especially since all she's doing is trying to point out, this lady, all she's doing is trying to point out some, um, point out the hypocrisy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That, because on a federal level, you want to sit up here and tell you want to have control over somebody else's body mm -hmm. and by turn around and you know making sure you know people can't have abortions making it illegal people will find creative ways and since some people who have money who might oh, put yeah. this in, put this in put this in effect mm -hmm. that doesn't mean they have to get it done here right you know there's, there's one thing there's plenty of stairs for someone to fall down mm -hmm. well like I said they can just go take their trip overseas but again, people... Or oh, they'll people, find somebody, somebody that used to practice person. it. Right. <laughs> Pay them enough money. Yeah. But remember, these particular laws are made for people who they feel are not on the same level as them. Yeah, the sad part about it is the um, the people the, the, the people that are setting these laws don't... I, I don't think they're in touch with reality. Not everybody wants to go out and get an abortion. 
Now, we are talking about the anti-abortion law. We're not talking about what the lady in Alabama did, just did. Yeah. So. I mean, but it, like she said, that's the whole purpose of her, you know, even throwing this law out there is because it's not fair. The law that you have in place as far as anti-abortion, if, if you don't want something bad enough, you're going to you're going to take care of it either way. People are very determined. And I think they still have it in place to where if you were raped or something, you could still I don't think they, get an abortion. I, I think I think that's, that's even what gray, I read. I think that's even gray area as well. I think we'll probably have to do a little bit more research on that since I'm not going to give up some facts and don't know. But while she's doing that now, one of my big questions is: say if you had, say if you stayed in that state and this man has turned around and. He might have fathered, say if it does pass, he's fathered three children by three other women and, or however many, he's, he's reached his three limit. Then, and it's because he was young, but then he actually, he has this vasectomy. He actually gets married to a woman who is like, hey, I want to have a child by you. At this point in time, the nigga been snipped. By going, you know, by if that actually got put in place, so mm -hmm. that also at, at the other end of it, like I said, it takes two to tango, <clears throat> and you have a woman who wants to have a child by, but it, you know he done went out and had had one. I mean, he, three. you know, he, he yeah, he, <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's had three, three, but she wants to have him. But you you take you take that right away from, him. Mm -hmm. just like you taking the right away from the woman, to you know. You know, to get an abortion. You know, for all, you know, the question is: Is it what? Can you have an abortion if it if it threatens the life of the mother? And that's the that's that's the other issue that they don't look at, right? Because the documentary that we saw, mm -hmm. uh, what was it? Tillis, Tillis, whatever his name was. Um, he was the late abortion mm -hmm. guy. But like looking at that documentary and hearing the reasons why these people, they didn't want to get abortions. They were praying for healthy babies. These were people that were trying to get pregnant. Mm -hmm. You know, and it, it comes to a point where it's not even necessarily them or the baby. It's, do I really want to bring a baby into this world and they possibly die very shortly after birth? Or, right. um, you know, it's, or, or they live a life where they have to get continuous Surgery. Who who's paying for this shit? That's what I know. Right. That's what's pissing me off. Because what's funny is I wanted to get my tubes tied after I had my oldest son. I was twenty. It was a week before my twenty first birthday when I had him. They said, "No, you're too young. You need to have another kid." Or so I like, gotta have another kid. <clears throat> so I've actually heard that that rule in place before a woman can even contemplate having her tubes tied that she has to have two. Mm hmm. Oh, and, and let's be real, because if your husband don't want you to get your tubes tied, you won't, You can't get your tubes tied. Side note here. When we talk about me in a previous marriage, um, like I said, I was divorced. Soon as it was on the verge of the, like, I'm gone, mm -hmm. she, she went and did that. Yeah, but you were gone. No, it's was like, I was still married, but I was out of the house. Yeah, so y'all no, separated. Yeah, you had point. no rights. Yeah, <laughs> sadly. So because, you didn't because, matter, nigga. Because of, yeah, <laughs> because of that law, because of that law of whatnot. If the husband, that's why she was like, "Well, she is." I mean, if you, as a woman, if you know you don't want to go through that shit no more, right? You don't want to. So here's the thing. I mean, it's easy for a man to pop up, hey, let's have 10 kids. Nah, bitch, please. But at the same time, <laughs> this is also a lot of this, but like I said, as we talking about this, points out the whole, you know, the woman has all, you know, has certain, you know, still has certain rights too as well. Certain. Yeah, but, you know, the thing is won't but, all. But the issue with that is me being a woman that never wanted them. Mm -hmm. You know, of course, I was young when I made that decision. Yeah, but a lot of, a lot but, of them are. Let's be real. Get your tube tied is reversible. Your eggs don't drift off just because you get your tubes tied. The question is, is the vasectomy reversible? Look it up. Hang on. I, I never known for it to be. Right. 
Now I know there's mm-hmm. some. I, I there's a guy that I used to work with a while back that him and his wife actually agree that he would get one because he knows pretty much she's fertile myrtle, but they did not want to stop using. Um, they they did not want to use condoms or or birth control. And those are two things that they didn't want to do. So, I mean, it's all it's pills or some kind of medicine or whatnot. Cause you know every cause every time he stuck it in, she was. <laughs> getting, she was getting pregnant. I mean, but hell, if it and, come out like that. And, and I said they agreed upon it. Yeah. So, and I remember when he was telling me, he was like, "Yep, yeah, you know, I hurt for a little bit, but after that, we just kept on, kept on plugging." And the fun, I mean, and from what I've heard, it's less evasive mm. for a man to get snipped. <laughs> so the the biggest one of the biggest equal, uh, inequalities is like, hey. Man produce sperm. It, it is reversible, actually. So then that's another thing, because he. But, had, that, but that's not. But that's only. That would only be in the state of Alabama. Yeah, that would be in the state of Alabama. But it does bring up a good question. Now, it brings up a lot of issues. Not a good question brings up a lot of issues here, like the one I said. What if this man, you know, he he made his three and it was time for him to get snipped. Who the fuck out the state? Huh? <laughs> but yeah, go not to, in Alabama. Go to Texas. Yeah, yeah go. To, <laughs> Go to Mississippi. I, I'm just, I mean, the whole thing, like, this woman knows it's not going to get passed. Right. She knows it. It's just to highlight the issues that come across yeah, they, when it comes to women's rights. Don't nobody bat an eye to it. Let's call it what it is. When when white men, who are old white men who still have these particular values, start making decisions for other people. Yes, I said it. Is it about race? No, it's about people who are in power. Because this is obviously a gender thing, but also you know, blacks don't have any say so in this. Let's oh, we're black. not people. Yeah, we don't have any say so in this at all. And the thing is, you, it takes was it was this Democrat is this, this Democrat like, is she black? Yeah, she's she's a black woman. And I also heard another black woman when the mm-hmm. anti-abortion bill came up said, "Look, do, don't nobody care about the kids." Like my wife said earlier, you're forcing a child to be be uh, to be born. You also you also forcing strain on the system. So with that being said, that really you need to take a look at it. That abortion, that not uh, that abortion ban, probably got put in just so certain people can get their numbers back up. Because when you find out you're at risk as being a minority, you got to do anything you can, which is basically what she was saying in that video. Um, but so far as again you having a woman having to bring up other issues which is the strain on the system and not you know not there's not really concern for the welfare of the child you know that's going to cause problems just like you're force, forcing you already going to end up forcing like these this new generation of kids to have more mental issues also than than the ones are you know the mm-hmm. ones that already got yeah yeah we already have mental issues yeah so this <clears throat> I see what I see what the lady was doing in in um <clears throat> in in Alabama I understand that mm-hmm. uh, at the same time it's um you know just to send a message out you government shouldn't have that kind of control over a person's body it was putting the shoe on the other foot yeah. The whole perk of being in America is you don't have to stress on certain things. Unlike, whereas if you were in China, you're limited as to how many kids you can have, period. Oh, yeah. Or they would kill them if they were girls. Yeah, that was yeah, that like, was something, yeah. <laughs> you know, so it's like, where do we draw the line as people? And lawmakers and, you know, all those things. And that's why it's important to vote. <laughs> Um, because so, the sad part is by them being Republican, you know, a majority Republican, uh-huh. just like she said, you, she knows it's not going to win. But the fact of the matter is you've gotten a message out like, yeah, why the fuck isn't there any laws for a man? Because you got men out here, <laughs> for instance, my youngest son's uh, daddy has seven kids. Where's the limit on that? 
wanted me to have an abortion. I think the funny thing is like... <laughs> but then someone like me who, because of what I've been told, trying to keep on the lineage, you know, I'm a little... Even though I've been reckless, been, you know, lucky, but at the same time, responsible trying to, in some ways, you know, I want a bigger family, but, hell, I just can't, you know, I just ain't got an enemy just to sleep with any and every woman and just leave a seed in there, you know? What? Nothing. So, like I said, lucky, you know, wasn't supposed to have a child with that person. But what I'm getting at is, okay, what about the other side? What if they like men, you know, if the men, what if, what if for some strange reason they, you know, embrace it? Right. Like if I, okay, well, shoot. That means I can go out here and STD up everything. Yeah, but even with that, there's still a certain personal amount, you know, it's still a, a certain amount of personal responsibility that, that you need to be held accountable for. Right, I get that. Me, the sad part is men are going to do that anyway. Right, this is true, but just because you snip, <laughs> but also, but also the the thing is, is the other part of it being enabled. Mm-hmm. Oh well, I can't get pregnant by him, you know. Shoot, why not? If that's the that that's the the short sightedness that people more likely could adopt from that as well. I mean, people are dumb. Let's be real on it. <laughs> people are stupid as shit. And the issue with that is, you can you fall in love with the nigga that's not gonna marry you. <laughs> Treat him like a husband when you only gonna be a side chick, and then you treat the one that wants to make you a wife like shit, or vice versa, male yeah. or female, whatever. People are dumb, and that's why it's dumb for you to sit here and really think that because you ban abortions, people aren't gonna get them. That's only banned in Alabama. Think they won't bring their ass over here? You can get that shit right down the street. Right. <laughs> Mm-mm. I mean, I don't know if it's down the street, but yeah. you know what yeah. I'm saying. But at the same time, like, let's say, just the anti-abortion law in general, it's, you also, say if you're, say if the people in power are doing it to repopulate their numbers, you do also run that risk of people fighting back the other way, mm-hmm. which is, which means they will possibly, you know, actually try to be responsible on using mm-hmm. contraceptive. Abstinence ain't happening. They will finally get smart. <laughs> and honestly, at the sad at the sad point, I don't think that's what they're kind of hoping. Mm-hmm. Because they yeah, they that. want it to continue. They think. I mean, the sad the sad part is it also like this like AIDS and HIV. It brought an aware, awareness that wasn't there. All right. It made people be more cautious. It made people put on the condoms. Then, you know what I'm saying. And then, if you take away. If you take away the options of birth control, which in some states and cities they have, you're going to have those people not wanting, you know, taking every other precaution that they can. You'll have, you know, a female one wearing a condom as well as a man. And it, shit, if you're that serious about it, do what you got to do. <laughs> right. Or you'll have those people who are like, well, fuck it, if the government all right with it. <laughs> they don't want me to get rid of none. They want to take away birth control. Let me go ahead and handle my business. Uh-huh. <laughs> like, maybe it's meant to be. It's snowing like shit. We got to get ready to go. <laughs> All right. So, again, if you ever want to, you know, leave any kind of comments, leave them down below. If you have any suggestions, you, you know, leave them in the comment section. Or you can email us at... Oh, married with... Uh, MarriedWOP at gmail.com. Yeah. And, you know, if you have, like I said, if you have any stories you want us to comment on, we won't tell who you are. But anyway, we recommend you send that through the, the email. email. Yeah. <laughs> we can't uh, yeah. guarantee your anonymity yeah. if you put it in the comments. Exactly. So, so I'm Micah. And I'm Jay. Thank you for spending time with us. And have a good one.